Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video we're going to look at playing a video full screen with no UI to your players in Foundry VTT. Okay, this is one I've been thinking about for a little while. When we stream our game, I always run a little intro video that gets shown on the stream. But my players never get to see that, so they never know exactly what the timing is. And I'm always having to try and talk over it to try and give them a hint as to where we're at. I've now kind of got this down to a way where I can actually show a video in Foundry. Now, obviously, I use this for like an intro video, but you could use this to show any type of video to your players at any time. And with a couple of macros, it's relatively simple to set up. So what I've done here is I've made a scene up called Intro. And basically all I've done is in this in this one, if I go to the configuration, the actual background is actually just that video. It's an MP4 file, so we get the audio and the video coming through. Now obviously that will loop forever, but that scene is ready and set up to go. So with that video set up, the next steps are you need to have a module installed called Lock View. Now what this allows you to do is when we go into the configuration page here and have a look at what Lock View is doing, I'm locking the pan and the zoom here, and I'm also doing this auto scale. So this is gonna actually make it full size for your players. You can make it horizontal fit or vertical fit depending on your video and how close you want it to fill the screen for. And the big ones here as well is, is that I'm having it hide and collapse all of the UI for the players here as well. So with that ticked on, they can actually see on the video, uh, if you look on the video below down here, you can actually see that it's uh, clearing all of that UI out uh, for that scene. And then when we go back to our, our normal scenes, you can see that the UI comes back and everything is uh, as it, they normally have it on a, on, a, on a game. So lock view is obviously helping us out here a lot by making the screen nice and clear for that, for that video to play. So that is all good. The last trick of this is obviously that intro scene will keep looping forever and constantly. So we need to switch to it, have it play through, and then switch back to another scene. So the key to making it play only once is actually in this macro down here. So if I come down here and edit this macro here, what we can see all of this is actually doing, I will obviously post all of this in the um, description below as well, so there will be copies. But basically I'm defining what the scene names are. I'm working out exactly how long my video is that I need to delay in seconds. In my case, I need 55, but obviously you would adjust this to the length of your video to make sure that's correct. And then it basically activates the first scene, waits for a timeout, and then it will activate the second scene. So I've made it go back to my, my home characters one. You just have to put the name of the scene up in, up in these two up here first, and then uh, that will all be correct. So yeah, on a single press of this, it will run for exactly 55 seconds and then come back to this scene afterwards. The only other trick I would do, and just to make sure it all runs nice and smoothly, you can do it from up here, uh, which is basically you can preload that intro scene so that that's all ready to go in the background. I will post that there. I have made another macro that can do this the same of actually preloading the scene. You will have to put the ID of the scene in here um, to get it to work correctly. That's easy enough to find. What you would do is you go up here to the configure page here. And if you look at here, you see you can copy the uh, ID of the document and then paste that into the into the macro there. So that would be nice and simple at the start of your game or whenever you want to um, play a video like that. You preload the scene in first and then you hit your macro and your scene will play full screen for your players and then uh, yeah it will time out correctly and that should look nice and tidy to your players i know this is a bit niche but i hope this is useful to someone thank you for listening and please like and subscribe for more content